Good day, Grade 1. Today, we're going to have a lesson that we'll surely have fun with. And the title of our lesson for today is Visualizing and Solving One-Step Routine and Non-Routine Problems Involving Subtraction of Whole Numbers. And to start, we will have the story about the shell collector. Now, Kina loved to collect seashells. One day, she collected 47 from the nearby beach. Then, she gave 25 pieces to her sister. How many seashells were left with her? And to find out the answer, we are going to follow the G-A-P-E-S-A -E method or GAPESA method. So for a review, G stands for what are given, A is what is asked, P, what is the process to be used, E, what is the equation, S, what is the solution, and A, what is the answer. And now, in the word problem, GAPESA will be like this. So for letter G, 47 was Kina's total number of seashells. 25 was the number of seashells given to her sister. For letter A, what is asked is how many seashells were left with her. For P, the process that we're going to use is subtraction. For E, the equation or number sentence is 47 minus 25 equals N. And the solution is 47 minus 25, so 7 minus 5 is 2, and 4 minus 2 is 2. So the answer is 22 seashells were left. Again, 47 minus 25, 7 minus 5 is 2, and 4 minus 2 is 2. That's why 22 seashells were left with Kina. Now, let's have another example. Yuri had 68 Pokemon cards. He gave 23 to Jun. How many Pokemon cards were left? Now, in the word problem, Gapesa will be like this. So, for letter G, 68 was Yuri's total number of Pokemon cards. 23 was the number of cards given to Jun. For A, what is asked is, how many Pokemon cards were left? P, the process that we're going to use is subtraction. For E, the equation or number sentence is 68 minus 23 equals N. For S, the solution is 68 minus 23. So 8 minus 3 is 5, while 6 minus 2 is 4. So the answer is 45 Pokemon cards were left. Again, 68 minus 23, 8 minus 3 is 5, and 6 minus 2 is 4. That's why 45 Pokemon cards were left for Yuri. Now, let's have another example. Farmer Val had 54 eggs. He sold 36 pieces. How many eggs were not yet sold? So, in the word problem, the peso will be like this. So, for G, 54 was the total number of eggs Farmer Val had. And 36 was the number of eggs sold. For A, what is asked is how many eggs were not yet sold. And P, the process that we're going to use is subtraction. For E, the equation or number sentence is 54 minus 36 equals N. And the solution is 54 minus 36. We have, and as you can see, the subtrend 6 is bigger than the minuend 4. That's why we're going to regroup from the tens place. And we are going to rename 4 as 14. So 14 minus 6, we have 8. And since we regrouped from the tens place, that's why 5 now becomes Four. So, 4 minus 3, we have 1. So, the answer is 18 eggs were unsold. Again, 54 minus 36. So, 4 minus 6, it cannot be. That's why we need to regroup from the tens place. That's why 4 is renamed as 14. And 14 minus 6 is 8. 
And 5 now is 4. And 4 minus 3 is 1. That's why 18 eggs were left unsold. There you go. Now another example. Lynn picked 72 pieces of strawberries in their farm. She used 57 to make a jam. How many strawberries were left? Now, in the word problem, Gapesa will be like this. So 72 was the total number of strawberries Lynn had. And 57 was the number of strawberries used for jam. For A, what is asked is how many strawberries were left? For P, the process that we're going to use is subtraction. For E, the equation or number sentence is 72 minus 57 equals N. And the solution is 72 minus 57. So, of course, we cannot subtract 7 from 2. That's why we're going to regroup from the tens place. So, 2 now will be renamed as 12. So, 12 minus 7 is 5. And 7 now is renamed as 6. So, 6 minus 5 is 1. So, the answer is 15 strawberries were left. Again, 72 minus 57. So, 2 minus 7, it cannot be. That's why we need to regroup from the tens place. That's why 2 now is renamed as 12. And 12 minus 7 is 5. And 7 now is renamed as 6. And 6 minus 5 is 1. So, there were 15 strawberries left for Lynn. There you go. Now, let's practice more of what we learned. And I hope that you'll have a good time practicing and learning it. So, I am very happy, my dear grade 1, that you already know how to do GAPESA using subtraction word problems. Great job!